Hello, how are you all? <laughs> how are you? Very well, thank you. Can I show you what I found and you yes. can tell me? Yeah. Thank you. Here are little pieces. Okay. Mm -hmm. T-shirt. Yeah, it's all right. I've never seen there it. we go. <laughs> the shoes. Yeah. Thank you, bud. Uh, Two dollars. That's fine. Thank you very much. Seven bucks. All righty. Thank you very much. Those are cute. They are, aren't they? I have a twenty. That's okay. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Thank you ever so much. It's okay. Nice. Thank you. Have a lovely day. Thank you.
to go less pieces. Did you say 65? Yeah. Your laptop bag. Uh, three dollars. Sure. You want that bath sign too? I'm thinking about it. How much is it? Dollar. Yeah. Dollar for the bath sign. A dollar. That's a good deal. It is a good deal. That's cute. Let me think on it. Thank you. Thank you very it's much. It's kind of a whole. Set. I'm gonna do the sign. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't regret it later. Uh, <laughs> Thank you very much. Yesterday we were asking seventy-five, today we'll say two. Hello, how are you all? Very good, thank you. Yes, please. That'd be wonderful. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. you guys welcome to the hall where i show you what i picked up at today's yard sale so i have three yard sales worth here and um, let's start down here since this is the only thing i grabbed from this yard sale just a little pair of leather adidas um sneakers let me know how do i tell what the style number is on these <laughs> i've been doing some research and i'm having like a really hard time figuring out exactly which number is the style number on these like on nikes i know straight away but on these ones um i am having a harder time either way they're in really nice condition like i said black leather magic eraser will do wonderful things um for the edges here and just bring them back to a brighter white and i paid three dollars for these at the next yard sale um i think i spent like maybe six dollars total or something i got a pair of these new balance walking dsl twos they just look to be in really nice shape overall again very like light tread wear things like that and a magic eraser again will will just bring the color back to these we'll just clean up all of this here and um, make them look a lot fresher ready for listing i think that they were two dollars perhaps and they look like they're selling anywhere from 25 to 30. the rest of it was kind of quirky stuff that i haven't got comps for but i just thought was cool um, um, so first of all i thought this was awesome it's a coupon organizer vintage obviously however it is from 1988 like how often do you find this kind of stuff dead stock or new old stock in packs so again this is the kind of thing that sells on etsy and honestly also on poshmark for me all day long just this quirky vintage like new in pack stuff i think that was 50 cents 
I grabbed these um, at the jewelry table. They're just like little kiss lock purses. I don't know what this one would necessarily be for, but it's like a little set. Very, very 70s vibe. Um, I'll sell them together, probably a list for around 15 to 20. And I did get some jewelry pieces as well that I think are kind of all hiding in here. Just a couple of necklaces. So this one is like red, white, and blue. It is vintage. I can tell by like the clasp. The clasp is definitely an older one over here. Um, and, and I just thought the style was really cool. Like the colorway and stuff were kind of past 4th of July now, but I'll still list it. And then this piece here definitely had a whole lot of like 90s vibes to me. And it says on the back 1996, it is marked. Um, and it's just kind of got that like ethereal, uh, astrological sun style to it. So, you know, that kind of, I guess might have even been like a choker necklace at the time you could wear it as. And the fact that it was marked from the 90s as well, I thought was really kind of cool. I think they were 50 cents a piece. This is a vintage t-shirt, definitely older. Um, I believe that it is single stitch and it is like a knit as well. And um, the graphic on it is for Hawaii. It's a really cool color. I thought it was awesome. It definitely has some condition issues. There's a few little stains. Um, it was like 25 cents, I think. And I decided to go ahead and grab it and just see if I could like bring it back to life because I do think other than the stains, this is a really, really awesome vintage piece. Another vintage piece here, um, just kind of like the granny square blankets or the Afghans that sell so, so well online when you find them. Uh, this is a purse made just like one. Um, definitely is handmade as well. And I think that it will do fine just because it's such a popular style. Oh, and I grabbed this for free from that yard sale. It was literally just in the free pile. Um, it's not sealed, unfortunately, but it is completely full. And this is a retired shampoo, the Clairol Fizz, Frizz Control. You can probably tell just from the graphics and things like that. It's a little bit older. Um, people were listing the shampoo and conditioner like combinations for $30 I think it was online so I may try listing this for around like $18.99 and see how it does. All right and the last sale um I only grabbed these two items so this appears to be a vintage bath clock little tiny bit of damage over here but that's about it. I will have to change the battery I don't think it has a year on it unfortunately. Actually, I think I just need to put the battery in, don't I? No, it doesn't say. It's made in China, um, but it's like a reproduction of a mid-century one. So it's still considered retro, possibly vintage. I'm thinking kind of 90s for this as well. Let me know what you think in the comments. Um, and I think I paid a dollar for this. And they look like they could be going anywhere from kind of like 25 all the way up to sort of 40. Also, I should mention there's none in this particular colorway as well with this really nice kind of like minty blue green. And that could definitely help sell it. And lastly, I just grabbed this Timbuktu uh, laptop bag or messenger bag here is the brand name right there these are not super super cheap bags and they do have some resale value i'll be hoping to get around 30 to 35 for this one all right you guys thank you for coming along with me to today's yard sales if you enjoyed the video don't forget to give it a thumbs up but if you're new here and you like thrifting and yard sales then don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below and the bell notification so you can come back and thrift with me some more as always if you're looking for a friendly facebook group you'll find a link to mine thrift nice down below in the description box and you'll also find a link to my Teespring store there too with lots of fun reseller and thrifting themed merchandise. All right, you guys, I will catch you in the next one. Bye.